it's Heather and I'm going to show you how to fix your mistakes when you're painting with acrylics. So um, sometimes when you're painting you might make a mistake and if you notice it right away it's really easy to fix. Um, but then there's also ones that you might not notice right away and those will be a little tougher. Um, the best thing is if you can just make it work with your painting but in case you really want to get rid of it or fix it, um, I'm going to show you how. So let's get started. Okay, so here are my supplies. So I have this background that I've painted uh, quite a while ago. I don't even really remember what I painted it for, but I never finished the painting. So, um, so I have this background and I have some paints that um, I think these are the background colors I used. And I have some green, which I'll be painting with. And then this right here is Liquitex Matte Medium, which is some pretty amazing stuff. It helps you to blend stuff um, really well. So it's kind of like if you were to water down your paint, but it's not actually watering it down because it has the bonding agents that come in acrylic paint. And so it's, um, it's different than water. Like it doesn't water it down where it's um, like super see-through and will kind of like water down the paint under it and like pick up the paint. It's kind of different. So if I was, if I had like um, a dry background or even paint that was like almost dry and I wanted to blend another color in with it, I could use the matte medium and like brush it with the paint and it kind of thins it out a little bit as to where it'll blend it. And if there's paint that's kind of wet underneath, like if you were to use water, it would kind of pick it up and it wouldn't look good. But with the matte medium, it doesn't really mess it up. Like it'll actually just blend it in with whatever's under it. So it's pretty nice. Um, all right, so let's get started. So um, the first mistake that I actually make this kind of a lot is um, the, is very simple and easy to fix. So say that I get some paint and I'm just making a line here. And then I got too much paint so I actually have a ridge right here. So this is super easy. Um, you can just use your finger to wipe it up. But you don't want to wipe sideways or um, like out. So you want to wipe it towards the paint that is the same color. So in other words, if I'm wiping this ridge, I want to wipe it towards the green. So that way, um, because I'm kind of, I'm going to be pushing it towards it. So that way, if it goes on the color it's supposed to be, it's fine. So I just use my finger and then I just wipe my finger off. And then we have a little part right here. So I'll just push that towards the green and then it's fine. And then if you want, you can just wipe the extra paint off your brush and just kind of smooth it out. Just to fix it. Um, after, you, after you wiped with your finger, you know, it might be kind of a weird texture, so you can just smooth it out. Okay, so um, the next one that I'm going to show you is if you make a mistake that you just want to completely take out. So um, say that I'm painting a line here. And then I realize that I don't want this line here anymore. Okay. So um, if you catch it right away, it's really easy to fix. So the first thing you can do is um, you can just try wiping it with your finger. And you wipe kind of hard. And then see how it just comes right off. And, um, but then there is like a little bit of paint left over, so you can use the next method I'm going to show you. So the next method is the water method. Um, and this is a really nice method. To, it'll just take your paint right off the canvas. So, um, the only thing is that, like, if it's white paint or, like, some other kind of very dry kind of paint, then it, um, might not work all the way. But I'll show you what to do in that case. So for this, I'm just going to take my flat brush. I like to use a flat brush for this. Unless it's like a very small detail, then you can use a smaller brush. But for things like this, I like to use the flat brush. So I'm just going to dip it in the water and get it wet. Make sure it's not muddy water. So this is still pretty clear, so it's okay. I'm going to dab it off a little bit, but I still want it to be pretty wet. 
Um, now I'm going to kind of go back and forth and kind of be pushing the paint. So this is going to water down the paint and um, it's kind of scrubbing it up too. So see how it really waters it down and it's basically just like water, it's like green water, kind of. So after you do that, you want to clean your brush. You always want to try to have a clean brush when you're doing this stuff because you don't want to end up with more green on your background. So clean your brush and wipe it off and then this time you want to get it completely dry because we want to soak up what's on here. So now that I have a nice dry brush, I can go like this and it'll absorb it. It didn't absorb all of it though, so I'm going to rinse my brush again, dry it, get it nice and dry, and then I can pick up some more of it. Okay, and I can even kind of brush over it, make sure I get everything. Okay, so, and then the other thing is, like, if you end up with a lot of water on here, you can also, um, or like, this is still a little bit wet, so maybe I want to dry it. Um, so I can move on. So I can just kind of blot it up with a clean part of my paper towel. Alright, so, um, so that's the water method, which works really well as long as your paint is wet enough. Sometimes your paint isn't uh, wet enough. Maybe it dried a little bit, maybe you didn't realize that you messed up until later. Or it could just be a really dry paint, like white paint dries like super fast. So in that case, um, the first thing is if you can ever turn it into something, then that, then you really want to do that because if you keep trying to fix stuff, um, and you know take the paint off, and if you do it over and over again, eventually, it's just gonna get crazy. <laughs> like you're gonna get into an endless loop. Um, so, you know, like one thing that I would like to do is just like turn it into a little leaf or something like that. Um, so, you know, like say if you have a messed up part and you can turn it into like a little leaf that's falling, maybe a little insect or something like that, that's always a really good thing to do. Um, that'll give you the best results, I think. Okay, so the other thing is... Um, that you can go over it with your background color. So <clears throat> if you ever need to do this, you definitely first want to do the water method as much as you can so that you can get some of the paint off. <clears throat> get as much of the paint off as you can because when you're covering over this, like there's some thick parts of it, like wherever the paint was thick. And um, so when you go over it with the background, you might still see the shape underneath it, which is not good. So you still want to take your brush, your wet brush, and go over it. And then I'm going to rinse my brush, dry it, and I'm going to take off as much paint as I can. And then, see, there's still uh, some paint being stuck on there. I'll try blotting it. Okay, so I did get most of it off. There is, like, one part right here that's still showing, and there's some green that's, like, not really coming up because I mixed the white with it. So the white makes it really thick. Okay, so for this, um, you would want to do more background. So the thing to remember with the background is that it's always going to dry a little bit darker than the color that you see on your palette. So just keep that in mind because it can be really tricky. And so this is why I don't really like to do this method unless I really have to because um, because you can just get stuck in an endless loop where it's like too light and then it's too dark and blah blah blah. So you think you have it matched exactly, but then it's going to dry a little darker, and then it's going to be darker, and then you're going to go nuts. So, um, but here's what you can do. So you want to mix a color that kind of matches the background. So, like, I'll get some white and some blue. And then um, I'm going to put it on the background. I'm going to cover here. And then see how it's a little bit too dark. So I'm going to get a little bit of white and I'm going to go over it. 
and then so it doesn't really blend perfectly as you can see but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of work it out a little more into the background so this part I want to keep here because this is covering up my mistake so I don't want to thin it out at all but then when I'm starting to go over this purple here if I could just kind of blend this in then it's really gonna look pretty seamless but how are you gonna blend it in when the purples dry well that's where the Liquitex matte medium comes in this stuff is amazing so I'm gonna my I didn't even rinse my brush I still have paint in my brush I'm gonna get a little bit of my Liquitex matte medium on my brush so now it's kind of thinned out and I'm going to just go right over this line like where the end of the blue is and the beginning of the purple is and I'm just I only have like a little bit of the paint and the matte medium on my brush so I'm just gonna go like this and blend it so I'm just brushing over it so it blends I'm keeping my brush strokes in the same kind of brush strokes of the background and then if I want to blend it even more go like this so it looks a little bit white right now and um, that's just the matte medium but once it dries it'll be a little bit clearer so as you can see instead of being kind of like dry brush strokes right here it's actually making it look very blended because it's kind of thinning it out a little bit but not in the way that water does so um, if we just wait for this to dry then it'll eventually look really nice and blended in okay so um, okay so those are all of my methods that I like to use to fix my mistakes and I hope this helped um, if you have any questions let me know you can email me or write questions in the comments if you liked this video and you want to see more like it um, you can give it a thumbs up um, and or comment or whatever so just let me know and good luck